Okay, NFL free agency decided to hit and take off. Uh, I I was like, it just seemed like it's been. I was like, I know that like you know the first the first way the first day like things hit fast, but a lot of stuff hit fast. It was it was crazy. Um, just like just like let's like let's just talk about the quarterbacks alone. Russell Wilson goes to the Steelers. I don't think nobody shocked. That was like a couple of teams. I was like, that was the team that everybody sort of thought of. Uh, I was like, there was like other teams. I guess that was involved. Um, of like you know, like the Giants. Well, that would have been interesting. But there's nobody. But there's no talent there. Um, you know, when I guess that sort of changed. Um, I thought maybe Atlanta, but Kirk Cousins went there. But Russell Wilson to the Steelers. Fine, makes sense. I expect him to beat out Kenny Pickett. Um, they got enough talent there, and they're always pretty much consistent to where, like, he just got to play basically like how he did against Denver, and he should be fine. Um, Baker Mayfield goes back to Tampa. I didn't think he was really going to leave um, like that. I was like, you know, I also suggested Atlanta with him and a couple other players, but I didn't think he was going to leave. I was like, that's a solid spot for them. I was like, consistency, all that other stuff, you know, at least for a couple of years. Um, I was like, I'll, Kirk Cousins to Atlanta. Uh, depending on how Kirk Cousins comes back off the Achilles, I don't think it's a bad pickup at all. Um, the money of it, basically, to me, would have been, I was like, it, it, it just depends on what team you were. But Atlanta, they don't, they're not really paying anyone else. Like on their offense, there's not too, there's not anyone that they're paying them over the money, um, and neither really on their defense either. So I mean, they got the money to spare. They got a relatively young team. Uh, they're in the vision that you can win in. Uh, they were pretty much there last year, and I was like, Kirk Cousins better what they had last year. If they get that. That's almost like Russell Wilson, where it's like they should be fine. Expect except I can believe better just because it's the NFC. South yet alone the NFC where I'm like there's a lot more holes there but I'm like in that division I'm like okay Baker Mayfield back with Tampa but Tampa got to do a lot of rebuilding on their defense uh the Saints are always just a disappointment the 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 Panthers don't know what the hell they doing so got a real good chance to win that division um other, I was like, other ones that I thought was, like, noteworthy is Gardner Minshew to the Raiders. I was like, I didn't necessarily see that one coming, but I think he'll probably start. Uh, I I think they'll probably draft a quarterback. I don't think they're drafting a quarterback uh, day one. I think that's probably, like, a day two type of thing. And so that's why I said that. Minshew probably will start. I think a lot of these quarterbacks in the draft can actually be good, but I was like, but it also comes with that whole thing of where they get drafted and how high up and they got the same pressure. Otherwise, that changes a lot of things. But I think Gardner Minshew going there, I was like, we'll see if they keep Devontae Adams or not. If they do, I think that works out. Because I was like, we've seen what Gardner Minshew can do with Michael Pittman. Devontae Adams is better than that. Um, I was like, they I was like, they just got to figure out more about the, that offense with losing Josh Jacobs and stuff. Um but I was like, I was like, I, I like, the, I, I do like that fit. Garner Minshew with the Las Vegas Raiders. That seemed like that'd be a lot of fun. Um, gunslinger in a way with the defensive type of coach. I was like, that's cool. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, Tyrod Taylor going to the Gi- to the Jets. Um, one, I like it really for the Jets because you don't know what you're going to get out of Aaron Rodgers. But he'll be the upgrade over Zach Wilson. Where it's like, guess what? That happens next. If that happens again, you're not worrying the same way. He's more mobile than Zach Wilson. I was like, he's willing to throw the ball downfield without throwing really any interceptions. Um, he'll take advantage of having better uh, of having a number one receiver where he did with the Giants. And to be honest, the Giants played a hell of a lot better once he got into the lineup after Daniel Jones got hurt than anything. So. I was like, I mean, I know DeVito came in there, but DeVito came in because he got hurt, but DeVito played well. And I think that's more referring to on Daniel Jones, but whatever. That's a good pick. It's a good pickup for the Jets to have a solid backup quarterback who can also start games and won't be a detriment to your team. Um, I was like, Jacoby Brissett going to the Patriots. 
Um, I think that's solid. I was like, you know, of course he already played with the Patriots, so therefore it's kind of like, you know, you kind of already know about him. But I was like, at the time when he was young, he's a lot more seasoned. And I think he's good for that team that is, that is devoid of talent um, in a way. And it's sort of like what I, what I stated at one other time where uh, they was like, who should be the quarterback? Matt Jones is happy. And I said, speed limit league Cunningham, one brilliant really rookie. But I was like, when you're that devoid of talent, you probably need to get a quarterback that is willing to do shit and make shit up with their, either their legs or their arms or whatever like that, which none of the two quarterbacks had. And I was like, Brissett, I was like, he doesn't have a great arm. He has a good, he has a good arm. But I'm like, he's willing to run. He's willing to be tough of, like, getting yards and stuff like that. Like, he he's – I mean, of course he's there until they, you know, depend on what when they draft a quarterback and stuff like that. But he's there to grind out games, you know, like like – if you have a solid defense, I was like, he's a good quarterback to have. And he just steadies the ship until you're able to find somebody or something like that. I'm not going to lie. I I was like, it would be a sneaky dark horse for Justin Fields, just saying. But well, I was like, damn, I don't think they have enough ammo to try to grab him. They might, unless, it's, unless he goes for a late round pick, like them sending off Mac Jones to Jacksonville, which I'm surprised that. Mac Jones was for so low six, but at the same time, was he really going to go for a third? So that's not really that bad. Um, I'm like, I'm just, I'm really surprised that that's where he went. I'm not going to lie. Like, it, like one, I was like, I would have thought that he might go to San Francisco, uh, but I don't know if they got their picks at you. I mean, well, that was such a late pick then. I was like, he probably could have gone there. But I'm not also going to lie that him backing up Purdy, you know, I'm like, I'm just saying. I was like, that would probably be some weird, weird thing there. But I'm really surprised that's where he went just because I would have thought that some other team would have seen him enough to, to have him in a battle for a starting, you know, for a starting job this offseason. Um... You know, not, you know, I was like, it wouldn't be Atlanta because if they're going to be in for cut cuts and they don't want somebody like Matt Jones, they would probably probably try to go for Russell Wilson next. They want a name and they want something like that. Uh, Matt Jones, to me, I was thinking, I'm like, okay, like what team could technically either you like, like with Trevor Lawrence, he's not going to, he's not going to play. He's not going to ever get a shot. But to me, I was like, like the Saints, if they did it, I'd be like, oh, okay, Derek Carr sort of gets hurt. I was like, he's still young, uh, you know, something like that. I'm like, oh, okay, cool, that makes sense. Uh, the, I was like, the Vikings losing Kirk Cousins. You would think maybe they'll be like, oh, okay, cool, in my little, in my, in that system over there, which I'm like, Kirk Cousins is not a runner, so it's not like you need to be like that. Uh, the Browns, you know, the Browns need backup quarterbacks, you know, so I'm like. So, in a sense, it's like, is that just because Matt Jones not that good no more? Like, what, like what's going on there? Why is that the thing? But that's, you know, here to there. Um, uh, I was like, and I think, I was like, and I think that's really about it for the quarterbacks. Oh, well, Sam Darnold went to the Vikings, and I guess it's, I, it's a talking point just because it's like, I, I get He's going to get a chance to start, and by God, they talk about somebody just keep getting damn chances. I'm like, like, ain't the ain't the the dude like fourth team like Jets, Carolina, uh, San Francisco, and Vikings, and whatever. All right, cool. I was like, I guess that's gonna be where you go. I thought the Vikings might try to pick up Tannehill. I was like, uh, he's still on the market. I don't know for how long, considering all the other quarterbacks got ate up. But I would, I would expect that he. You would think that he would get picked up quite early. Just the fact that I'm like, I was like, he not. I was like, he, he's, he's fine. He's straight. He's cool. Um, I was like, but I'm like, maybe he just, maybe he just goes to. A team that just needs like a solid backup or something like that. Like I thought he'd be on a team that's probably like close to contender. Like for instance, the Washington Commanders. Like yes, they might. Yes, they could still take a quarterback early on. But I'm like, 
you draft, you get him, he could take some of the bumps and bruises until you're ready for the dude to come in. And I was like, he's a solid veteran that you can also come out the gates and say, hey, we're trying to win while also doing this young person thing. You know, I was like, he, he could be somebody Alex Smith is what I'm trying to say. Um, But, yeah, that's – I was like, that's a free agency of just the quarterbacks alone of just the ones that – just just did right now. I was like, yet alone, how I said about Tannehill or Justin or Justin Fields, or we don't know about Daniel, what's going to happen with Daniel Jones. Um, yeah, I was like, there's a bunch of other teams that, you know, uh, have some available quarterbacks or soon to be available quarterbacks or some quarterbacks where, like, they're going to have to make some decisions or something like that. Um, but anyway, that's NFL free agency for right now, just quarterbacks. That's it. Nothing else. Crazy, right? Um, yeah, we'll see how much this keeps on going and what happens to the rest of the teams. Until then, out.